Okay, now to send an SMS from that SIM module. Since the last video, I went away and topped up that new SIM card I've got, so I can now send SMSs from it. Now the process of setting up a SIM card will be different for you wherever you are in the world and whichever supplier you use. In the UK, I used Labara, so when I first topped it up, I needed to verify it. They sent me a verification code using SMS to this actual SIM. So I'm going to view it using Minicom. So ATCMG equals all. And this is the message here, and it's encoded in UCS2, and I can't decode that using the commands that I know. But for you, you may be able to read that message if you get a message from your SIM provider. But for me, I'm going to need to decode that using an online tool. Now, before I do that, this line is trimmed at the end. There are many more numbers, but they've been chopped off because I don't have word wrapping switched on in Minicom here. So I need to just enable that. So Control A, Z, and line wrap on and off. W, I just got to press W and do that query again, ATCMG all. And now it's shown me all the numbers in the message. Now, if I just copy that, I'm using putty on Windows. And if I just highlight the text like that, it copies it to the clipboard. Now I take those numbers and I take them to this website. This website seems to be the best for this purpose. There's a link in the description. If I paste those numbers into the PDU field here, and then select contains only user data and then select Unicode UCS2. It shows me the verification code that I needed in order to complete the top up of my SIM card. Right, so this situation may not happen to you, but for me, the messages coming from the SIM card provider were encoded and I wasn't able to decode them. The messages I sent from my mobile phone in the previous video, well, they were easy enough to read, but not the ones coming from. Labara in this case. So if you do need to decode those things, I recommend using the website. Okay, so moving on, let's now send an SMS message using the SIM module since I have done my top up. For that, I'm going to use a command called CMGS. Okay, so AT plus CMGS equals to the telephone number, which will be your telephone number of your mobile phone. Now we get an input prompt and you can write anything you like. So a sample message it can be multi-line if you press enter this is the second line now to send it you press ctrl z now a second later on your mobile phone you should see a message and here we go a sample message this is the second line so i just sent a message from the sim module there just behind my head now just to quickly demonstrate doing this using a python script if we exit Minicom, roll A, Z, X, and then leave Minicom, I created a Python script called Python get temp.py. Now, if I start that up, what it's going to do is read the incoming messages, and if it finds a certain term from a particular mobile number, which is mine, it will respond with the temperature of my Raspberry Pi. So right now it's just printing out all the messages to the screen. Now the Python script is also on my GitHub here that you can download, get temp.py. It's an example script that shows how to receive an SMS message containing the word get temp and then responds by sending an SMS back to the number, the requesting number with the temperature of the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so going down, it's splitting the incoming messages up. It's taking the number of the sender if the message contains one word, get temp, put your own mobile number in here, plus whatever it is, and then it will send a message back to you using that section there containing the Raspberry Pi temperature. And this is the command that is run to get the temperature from a Raspberry Pi. And then at the end, it deletes that last incoming message so that it doesn't just keep sending you SMSs every five seconds about the Raspberry Pi temperature. I mean, if you did that, you'd run out of money pretty quick and you'd have to top up again anyway. So to demonstrate that script that is actually running, you can see that in the background. This is my mobile phone and I'm just going to send get temp to that telephone number of my SIM module.
get to temp. Now if I send that, and we can see in the background that there is something happening and it's just sent a message back. And just on my mobile phone there, temp equals 44.4 degrees. So that's an example of using a Python script to read the SMS and send another SMS back containing some kind of data. It's like a mini API. Let me go and send the message twice. I've got twice there. There's a slight bug in my script, but anyway, consider that fixed. Okay. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share.